Hello, I'm uh, Red Monk, and uh, today's topic is uh, something I want to talk about. All right? It's called uh, overthinking. You know, building uh, shit up in your head. You know, mild things, you know, that you just run through your head over and over again until it drives you insane. You know, usually, it's, it's about things that you care about. And you just run it through your head over and over again until it just drives you insane. You know, it's a natural thing, and I like to call it overthinking, you know? And usually, things we uh, overthink about is something we really, really are compassionate about, stuff that we really care about. And it's so easy to wallow in things that, you know, might happen or things that have happened that you just don't know about. And it's so easy to just run it through your head. And the more you run it through your head, the more you don't think about it straightforwardly. And it just only makes it worse. And uh, overthinking uh, leads to, you know, anxiety, right? If you're something's going to happen that you're not sure about. You just keep on thinking about it until you get less and less reasonable about it, which is not helpful. The breeding grounds for overthinking is unsureness and emotional investment. That is the breeding grounds. That is, if it's going to happen, that's where it will happen with unsureness and emotional investment. And it leads to, uh, you know, anxiety, and you lose peace of mind. And another important thing is that the more you run it through your head, the less you see it for what it actually is. You know, you start putting assumes on it. Like, it's run through a filter, and that filter alters it. And if you just keep on running it through the filter, it'll change. And it only leads to more anxiety, right? And... A huge part of unsureness is, uh, you know, it's like social anxiety. You know, if you're, you overthink it, right? And you can never know for sure what's in someone's head. They could be lying to you. They could actually hate you. They're not saying anything. They could try to like push it out in small ways and you're not sure if that was one of the ways. And the more you overthink about it, the less you see it for what it is. And, you know, it's entirely natural. To overthink. It's entirely, you know, natural to be, you know, occasionally nervous. It's fine. And, you know, it's something we have all done. You know, it's entirely natural to overthink. And an important thing about overthinking is that you have to uh, identify it. And if you like to limit how much it happens, it's never going to go away. But if you want to have something better, you know, to improve uh, oneself, you can uh, focus on it and limit it because it can be helpful sometimes, but sometimes, man, it can lead to some uh, negative feelings. How to limit overthinking? How to limit Preventative actions. The next time you overthink, you realize your own personal initial steps of how you got there and you, know, you identify the emotions you felt that got you to where you are and next time you feel those emotions you diverge off that path you know it's preventative measures and just realize just take a few steps back and see how you felt to you know diverge off the path the best way to snush it out is when it's young and weak. <laughs> and sometimes if you like feel that you kind of take a step back and kind of like kind of push at it, you'll feel some uh, like start the ball start to roll that like little bit of I'm about to do something right now feeling, you know, and kind of feel kind of a little bit aware. I'm not going to say aware, but we're like paranoid of your back. Sort of like Every man for himself. Oh, I'm going to start thinking about this. If you realize that that's the way you feel, you know, it's not all, It's not just 
happy or sad. It's a sort of state. You know, our states, there's a lot more complex emotions than happy and sad. And usually, it's one of the, one of those emotions. So, if you realize that, like most things, it's easiest to kill while it's young and weak. And let's say you are already overthinking. That, you know, sometimes you just miss the ball or can't push it off. It's a lot harder to get off the path, and you can usually just hutch it. It's like the hiccups. You just push it down a little bit and forget about it, and it'll go away eventually. And you know, some of the best ways is to just do the opposite of how you feel, you know. You have to be a little bit more carefree, you know. You have to accept how insignificant the thing you're thinking about is. Which is easier said than done. Easier said than done. But it's still a way to limit it. And then if you uh, think a little slower, that'll help. Because your brain's running 50 miles per hour when you overthink. And if you just, one step at a time, really just pause in between words and just really take it slow and chill it out. You know, like throw it to the oven and just have it start to... Not to Throw it in the freezer. Not the oven. You throw it in the freezer. Just let it reach absolute zero. Another thing is you can uh, think about other things. You focus elsewhere. Right? And let's say you're thinking about your... If you're lucky enough to get dates and you think about that and you're like nervous about it, just like play video games. Get your mind off of it. <laughs> Overthinking is a negative side effect of being so endearing, which I think is a strength. It's a strength. So just take it easy. It's like a rolling snowball. The bigger it gets, the bigger it grows. So if you see it coming early on, uh, you know, take it easy. Use your preventative measures of how you felt before. You accept insignificance, diverge off that path. See you later.